still seeing Omega fanboy and Seiko and Zin and Tutima and Hanhart and all the other beauties. I do have a couple of Rolexes in the collection. And we're going to take a, a look at one today. This is a, an older, a vintage piece. Uh, I sourced this watch before I had the vintage Rolex field guide. Shame on me. And this is a vintage piece, so it will not be found in this remarkably cool uh, catalog book from Isnadi Editori. Uh, big fan of theirs. They are a channel partner. If you like any of their books, we can get you a discount. These are see-through plastic uh, of like 100 Rolex watches and you can try them on your wrist. I thought this was such a cool thing. I mostly have collected uh, their Omega books and their really fabulous Tudor book. I'll link in the description and we get a discount. So just write to me for that. I'll, I'll connect you with them directly. And I just thought this little catalog book was a ton of fun. And of course, the best of time, Rolex wristwatches, James and Jeffrey. What are we looking at today and why is there a big blue Tiffany box in the background? Okay, we're looking at my vintage Datejust, approximately 1972 fluted gold bezel, uh, gold crown, gold indices. It's a Tiffany dial and also a Sigma dial on a really lovely Jean Rousseau strap from TNH. Absolutely adore this strap, gorgeous. And I think it fits this watch absolutely perfectly. I bought this watch before I knew anything about <laughs> buying vintage Rolex, let alone what you needed to look for, which is frankly over polishing. Look how absurdly over polished these lugs are, preposterous, right? If I only knew then what I knew now, but have no fear because this is a before and after video. I'm sending this off to Rolly Works, also link in the description to get this fixed. Uh, I don't know how they're going to do it. I believe they're going to laser weld. <laughs> Sounds like Star Wars stuff. Uh, they're going to somehow put new steel onto this and restore the chamfers and the beveling. And I loved what they did with TGV's watch. And so I'm taking a runner on it. I'm going to take a chance. Uh, I don't wear this watch near enough. And I think part of it is I'm ashamed it's so over polished. Plus, if I'm being honest, the color scheme does lean a little more towards the feminine. But I think if I get this fixed up, I, I think I could see it in a regular rotation. And I, I do want to source a bracelet for it, even though it pretty much lives on this strap. Because I've got other designs for this strap, other watches I want to wear this strap with. So in today's video, this is the before. Let's get up in its business. And I don't know how long it takes. I think it takes a couple weeks to get it back from them, but I'm super excited to get this beauty restored to its super duper awesomeness. Chamfers, beveled edges, whatever. I, I kind of don't know a lot about that part of it. So I'm putting it in the hands of someone who does know a lot about it. I have to say, it's, it's really catching the light rather nicely. So we'll round all this bric a brac -a up again and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. Maybe I'll do like a split screen shot. All right, hold still for a second, D. Brass tacks, what say you? Do you think they did a good job? 
What do you think? Does it look better? I think it looks better. I think the change is very subtle. When I first got it back, it's almost like I didn't notice much change until I really got in there with a loop. And I think there's some advantage to having it be a very subtle improvement as opposed to a drastic one. I think it still has some of its vintage charm and appeal and look. And I like it better. So I guess that's uh, the winning ticket right there. Do me a favor. Uh, if you have some opinions on this, drop them in the comments uh, below and let me know what you think about the job Rolly Works did. As the sun sets slowly in the west, we bid you a fine farewell. Me and the DJ, looks like we're going to be getting acquainted right quick, like maybe over a dram of the Brook Laddie, the classic Laddie. I hope that wherever you are in this wonderful, beautiful hobby of ours, that you're doing well, that you're blessed. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.